People on TikTok lie, okay? The, the, the girls on TikTok are lying. I've been in the circus since seventh grade. <laughs> I've been juggling since seventh grade. She was stressed in college, okay? Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Alicia, if this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. All right, guys, welcome back. I... Just got through working out. Um, William brought lunch. I am getting ready to hop in the shower and then I'm going to come in and beat my face. I'm in, I don't know if you guys have seen this room, but it's right off the master. It was a laundry room that we converted into my vanity because the laundry room's upstairs as well. Anyway, so my makeup and vanity is here. I've got some perfumes, beauty products, and then there's some um, shoes up here. And then I've got the little mesh shelves that have all of the pajamas so i'm gonna give you guys my beauty haul that i went on the last couple of days re-upping on some things wanting to try some new things got succumbed in <laughs> sephora by a salesperson so i'm gonna give you guys a beauty haul I'm gonna hop in the shower wash my face because i'm a little sweaty I'm um, actually I'm a lot sweaty and then we're gonna come in and then we're gonna beat the face for us to be able to shoot content so let's get into it all right we're just going to start first things first we went to sephora and tell you guys why i went in i went in to sephora to get and i actually did get it because i was running low the ula henriksen truth juice daily cleanser is basically their vitamin c cleanser now it's not in here because i already used it yesterday <laughs> but I was running low. I actually used the entire vitamin C collection and it's really helped kind of give my skin back its life because when I was pregnant, skin was glowing. I mean, it was a glow. And I'm thinking, oh, it's not the baby, it's just me. And then I had Alexander and he was like, no, it was me because your face is dull now. <laughs> so I've been using the, his vitamin C collection in the morning to kind of help give my skin the glow that I would have liked to still have during pregnancy so anyway, I got this was the only reason why I went in this was the only reason while I was there I was completely unaware that they now sell Glossier at Sephora and I'm actually really glad because I only thing that I really used to get from Glossier is this boy brow and it's a basically mascara for your brow love that but I didn't want to have to order a ton of stuff from Glossier just to get this. So I had actually stopped using it for quite a while. So when I walked in and they had this entire section, like a Glossier section when you first walk in, I grabbed that. So that's not new. It's something I've used before. Another thing that I got that's not new because you can clearly see it's right there is my body butter. And I wasn't going to get it, but then I realized that I am running low. So I was like, uh, let me get one just in case. I really wanted to wait because, you know, Sephora is coming up on their, like, their big sale where, because I'm a Rogue member, because I spent entirely too much money at Sephora, I get 20% off. So I was trying to wait for that, but it's not till April. That's not going to last me till April. So I got this one, and then, of course, I'm going to get another one when the sale comes because I love that stuff. So got that. I get to the register. Okay, and I see at my peripheral, they have a Fenty Beauty perfume section. And I was like, oh, do you guys have the perfume? And so she's like, oh, yeah. So I go over there. She lets me try. And I was like, mm, I'm not solid. And she's like, oh, it's so much better outside. You have to go outside and just let it like sit on your body. She's like, do you want me to try it? You want me to pour you like a, a travel? I was like, no, nah, let's just get it. So I got it. All the girls, it's either a hit or miss. Some people really, really love it. Some people don't like it. Some people don't think it was worth $140. Since I realized that I'm not going to get an album from Rihanna this year, I'm just gonna buy everything else she's making. Cause that that's the only way I'm gonna get my, you know, fill of Rihanna is to just get everything else she's making. Cause she's clearly not making an album. So it's very woodsy. It's very, I don't know, just that's the one thing I can put it. It's feel very woodsy. And I'm not normally, I'm not going to spray it now. I'm not normally a woodsy person, but I feel that I can or I will um, 
layer it with something else and hopefully it works if not I'm gonna take it back but I do like that it's woodsy because I don't have one I just I'm hoping that I can mix it with something else in my perfume selection so that's it for Sephora let's jump into Ulta all right I actually got quite a bit at Ulta I'm just gonna take it out of the bag so it's not making all that noise All right, first things first, I did not, oh yes I did, okay. I was like, I did not mean to get that. Yes I did, first things first, re -up. This is the NYX Fluff and Feel. I went ahead and took it out because I was running low. This is what I use on my brows. I like it because it's a really thicker um, liner so I don't have to worry about like spending forever to create striations in my brows. And then I use this part. So I normally will use, I will put a line here and you'll see as I'm getting ready. I'll put a line here and then I will go like here to blend it in. And then I'll create striations over here to kind of make the end of my brow a little bit thicker. So that was a re-up. This was also a re-up. One of my fave foundation brushes. And this is actually from NYX. I don't know which one this is. The 22. It's a 22 brush. So I like it that it's angled and then it just feels really soft. So I use this as my foundation brush. I already have three, but the first one that I got, I've had for at least three, four years. And so I need to switch that one out because I don't know how long you're supposed to have brushes, but I'm pretty sure three years is a little too long. So I'm going to switch that one out. Um, next up, which is a re-up, is this nars climax volume mascara i like to get travel size and mascaras because i have quite a few i have this one i have the mac one i have uh lancomes i like to get the travel size so i can make sure i use it all before i want to say this goes out after a year did i say 12 or 24 24 i guess two years i don't know what i thought where's my good where's my phone I could have sworn that's supposed to be 12. They make them so small. I think that's 12. Anyway, I went ahead and got the travel size, and I like to get travel size in mascaras for that purpose only. So, got that. Now, new stuff. First things first, which we are trying this today. So, if you are not on the Ticker Talkers or just on the social media, Fenty came out with a velvet mat. If you remember two seconds ago, I said Rihanna's not coming out with an album, so I'm just gonna buy everything else. And she comes out with <laughs> so she came out with a liquid velvet lipstick, and you've seen it. All the girls are talking about the MVP, MVP, MVP. And while it's a good red, it's not that deep red. I'm looking for y'all know my that devotion red that I've been obsessed with. And so when I was looking at Ulta, I saw that they had one and it's called HBIC. So it's this deep red. Oh, that's this is literally my devotion. I'm gonna let that dry. Where's my devotion? Because I have quite a few of them. I'm gonna do a swatch of this and a swatch of the devotion so that way you guys can see it. And I really was looking for one because I'm like, I am running low on the devotions, and so I need to be able to replace it. Yeah, we're gonna let those two dry. Anyway, so I picked up HBIC and we're going to be using this in our makeup look today. So while that dries, I also got some Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. Brow Styling Freeze. I have the one by Morphe and it works great. And if I wasn't planning on shooting content all day, I would still wear this one. But I know that the ABH is gonna give you that long lasting freeze that I need. So this is when I need my makeup to be on point for like hours on the day. And if I'm just doing a simple look, I still will do the Morphe. So I had to pick this up because I was low on that. What else? that I get this is a travel size perfume I'm in the market for a couple of perfumes and I figured I like to go to Ulta because they have a whole like travel size section and I like to see what's the spray because I don't like roller balls so this one is Fame by Poco Rabanne thought that was 
Oh, a really good one. Yes, that smells really good. It's kind of like a mix between summer and fall. It doesn't give the notes. Maybe I'll put the notes up here, but I like to get, if there is a travel size version, then I will get the travel size version. So I got this and hopefully it's like, works really good and I can go back and get the regular size. Put that over here. Okay, we're still letting that dry. Next up, which is new, I said I was going to try it. I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna try it in this look because some things I'm willing to try, like the Fenty, because it's easy for me to take off. This I saw on Instagram. And I'm going to try it. I'm just not going to try it today because if it doesn't work out, I don't want to have to redo my whole makeup. And that is this Sweet Cheeks NYX tint. And it's just basically a blush that you can, it's like a liquid like this. Let's see. And then you just blend it in. Ooh, that's a lot. Now see, what if I would put this on my face while I was doing makeup? It's a lot. I probably shouldn't have put that much. So anyway, I have it. I'm going. I I picture this one. I'm not doing like foundation, but I still want something in my cheeks to pop. So this is going to be one of those no foundation makeup looks. And if I do decide to wear it with foundation, just make sure I don't put on that much because that's a lot. And then last but not least from Ulta are these silicone cover ups. It says a new shade. It said deep tones. I normally get medium deep tones because this, as you guys can tell, is a little darker. But all they had were these and like the really, really light ones, like the really not our color light ones. I figured I'd rather go darker than be lighter. So pick these up. Um, and I normally will get a pair of these every few months. I like to wear them. So I have cup c-u-u-p bras are really good i really think they do good for um like making sure the girls are lifted but a couple of them that i have are like sheer and i like to put these on under the bra so when i go out if i'm cold no one else can tell especially if i'm going to like a kid friendly thing like my nephew's track meet probably shouldn't be letting people know i'm cold at a high school event so anyway, I like to keep a pair of these. And that is all that I got. Oh, I forgot I did get something else from Ulta, but I'm taking it back. Um, so I got the Mugler Travel Size and Angel. And this just goes to show that if it smells good in the store, make sure it smells good on you at home. So I picked it up, wore it that night, and I was like, something stinks. And I realized it wasn't me. I was like, oh, is is, what's going on? And then I tried to wear it again the next day, layered with something, and it's just not hitting. It's just, it's not, it, it smells like Robitussin and rubbing alcohol. That's what it smells like. It's Robitussin, Robitussin and rubbing alcohol had a baby. That's what it would smell like. So I have it sitting in the back because that is definitely going back. It does not smell good at all. Okay, let's move along. I mean, I got, I mean, I'll show you guys. I did end up going to Victoria's Secret. I had a card for like $20 off a of free bra. Um, so I figured I would let you guys know. These are the bras that I wear from Victoria's Secret. I don't know what happened to Victoria's Secret. I think it's because a lot of people ran them for filth that they started to change the way that their bras fit and they no longer have 20,000 inches of padding. So I like that this one is like a really thin padding, but then it still gives a little bit, a little bit of like push up. Like it, get, it holds the girls, right? And then I especially love how thick that band is. That band is just super, super thick. So love that. I picked that up and then because I don't know I'm a sucker for you know making sure I don't get one item because I used to I used to work in retail they also had their undergarments for their panties like six for 30 so I picked up quite a few of course they're all black because I think you should know by now I only wear black gar undergarments anyway so I picked those up at 
um, Victoria's Secret. I'll link the bra below in case you want to check that out. But it's one of my favorite. It's the only bra that I get from Victoria's Secret. So when I get a coupon for it being on sale, I'll go get it. It's the only bra. I only get that kind. I only get that size. I only get that color. <laughs> anyway, last but not least, let's do this mini Walmart haul and then we can get in the shower. Let's take all this out. Um, let's do an update on this Fenty Beauty. So that's Fenty. That's Devotion. I'm clearly going to have to put a chestnut liner with this because even though this is, is supposed to be darker than MVP, it's still lighter than the Devotion. Also, just in the staying powder, power. Like if I do, let's, let's do a retest. So if I take this finger, this, and I do here, that's Fenty. It said it's supposed to stay on. You, you notice how I didn't have... You notice that, right? This is the devotion. It, pinky. Like, and then. That makes me so good. People on TikTok lie, okay? The, the, the girls on TikTok are lying. They said it doesn't come off. Clearly. And even now, like, it was like, that Fenty was so easy to come off. And I'm having to scrub my hand. Milani, I don't know, you know, if somebody said something wrong or did something to your product or whatever. But on behalf of them, I'm sorry. Please bring devotion back. I'm down to my last five tubes. <laughs> That's all I have. I have five tubes left. And then I'm done with devotion. What am I going to do after these five tubes? <sighs> I guess I'm not wearing a red. Anyway, so Walmart, Reups, TPH body oil, because y'all, I don't know if it was me or who it was, but y'all sold this out. And they were having, I was having to buy it from Walmart, like a third party for like 20 something dollars. Luckily, it came back in stock in my local store. So I picked this up. Um, this is a Reup. This is a Reup. I have plenty of other sugar scrubs. But this velvet coffee, I like to use a velvet coffee like when I'm showering during the day. Like if I work out at night, then I'll use a different one. But in the morning, such as today, so good. Um, while we're still on body wash, this is something new. I normally do Olay. Um, I liked the pump in here. I also like that it's sensitive skin. I don't know what's going on, but I normally have my eczema under control, but lately it has been beating my ass. So we're gonna try the Dove Sensitive Skin and hope that works. And then this is also a Re-Up Vagisil pH Balance. Mm -hmm. I hope you're not just using water. That's all I'm gonna say. And then the, la <laughs> the last thing that I need to Re-Up on some of my lashes. So it's the Jubilee by Kiss that I've been loving. Um, this is normally the shooting content, need the eyes to pop. And then the Demi Wispies by Salon Perfect are kind of like everyday lashes. So that's all that I got. I'm going to put all this stuff up. I'm going to hop in the shower. I'm going to take this shit off of the side of my cheek. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do our makeup. All right, we are back. We are freshly we are freshly showered. I do have on a little robe. I have on my Skims robe. We're going to get started with some. Get started with some oh, makeup. I'm first going to stretch my hair. If this is the first time that you guys have seen this, um, then you have not watched my wash and go routine. I will link it up here for you guys to go and watch, watch that. But I always, if I know I'm going to wear my hair down, which the goal today is to shoot um, seven looks. And we'll get into that in a second. Because I know I've had a lot of people ask about just general influencer questions. So if I know I'm going to wear my hair down, I will stretch it while I'm putting on my makeup. And then that way when my makeup's done, hair is nice and stretched. The goal is to shoot seven looks. So some of the looks will be with my hair down, some of them will be in a bun, and then some of them will be with my hair pulled back because I'm gonna be having a hat. So let's get into it. All right, first things first, we are going to start with 
sunscreen because you have to I put the sunscreen on whether or not I'm putting on makeup or if I'm just gonna be fresh face for the day I actually already put this on this morning because it's basically part of my um, skincare routine but since I just washed my face I am reapplying and I if I don't mention it in the moment I'll make sure to link all the products that I'm using um, in the description box also while we're on the subject of the description box because I realize me and then a couple of other creators are like description box description box which really is where everything is if I have mentioned something if I've done like this so you guys can clearly see what I'm talking about 99.9% .9 of the time I'm also linking it in the description box because I don't want to be that person that like holds on to everything I don't want to be that person so I try to link everything but I know sometimes um, it can be hard to de decide Alicia what do you mean by the description box so if you're watching this on the TV I cannot help you because you cannot get to the description box from the TV so if you're watching it from any other device I I'll put up a video here to kind of explain it but it's on the right side of the screen and there's either a drop down or it says click for more or something like that and anyway you click that it has for me it has first of all thanking you guys for coming and supporting there is a email address for brands that want to collab with me um, I used to have a PO box if people wanted to uh, send me PR and then I am trying to get out of the excess of PR because I'm getting I would at my previous house the house we had downtown our garage I had to dedicate a section in the garage just for PR stuff that was coming it was beginning to get extremely extremely excessive to the point where even when I was giving stuff to friends there was still a lot and I just didn't want to have to deal with that excess so I actually took the PO down um, but anyway so that was there and then all of the links there's a link to my my online shop so if you guys are wondering about new arrivals and new hats that are coming that will always be linked there and then below that it's going to have everything that I mentioned in the video and it legit says shopping link so anything that I mentioned in the video anything that I've pointed out even if I didn't point it out but I think that you guys will kind of want I try to put it in the video and I really do that because I get a lot of questions and so I realize if I get for example I was doing the luxury the handbag video that I just recently did um all the bags that I got last year I was doing that and I kept getting questions about the shelves that the handbags are on stupid me I should have realized you guys were going to ask because they're gorgeous shelves I absolutely love those shelves but I neglected to put a link for them when I first uploaded the video after about it doesn't take that long for me after about three or four requests of someone asking can I have this link can I have this link I would just go in update the description to include the what you guys are looking for and that way when somebody else is looking for it they don't have to comment for me to send the link so the links down there they work and then of course under that it has kind of like my camera the details that I'm using to record of course right now I am using my phone just because it gets better lighting in here most of the time when I'm recording at home if it's a sit down video it's normally probably gonna be my camera um, the most recent video that I did the closet essentials that was done with my camera because the lighting allowed for it to be there um, on those places where it's little lower light or if it's a lot of yellow light which is what I have in here I use my phone because I think the quality of the camera is a little better when you're talking about low light so that's what I mean by the description box I try to have everything in there so yeah, the plan is to shoot seven reels today. Normally when I plan my content, so I normally do all of my planning on Sundays and now we're getting into a bunch of content creation slash how I'm able to do everything. <laughs> Just a little of me. Um, Saturday, Sundays are normally the days when I plan my week. Me and William will sit down, we'll go over our each other's schedules to try to see who's leaving the house when 
um, because right now we still have Alexander at home. I had thought at one point, I know he's going to eventually go to daycare. Um, I had thought that we were going to put him in daycare at six months. William made it very clear that, hey, um, it might be a little too soon to put him in daycare because it never fails. I don't know a single kid who went to daycare and didn't get sick. It's just you're around other kids. They have their parents' germs. They bring it like it's just it's a lot. And unless what I didn't realize until we were going to we've actually talked to probably the preschool that he's going to go to is as long as the kids don't have a fever, they can come to school. So you can have kids with like snot down their mouth and coughing, but as long as they don't have a fever, come right on in. And so we decided based on that, let's just give him a few more months at home. I don't know if I told you guys, but he did have a recent ear infection and I just don't want to have to do that on top of like throwing him into school. So we're going to wait until he gets a year old. So because of that, we tried to schedule to where if we don't have to, there's one of us here with him at all time. I work remote. William's office is here. He does have to go see clients. So we kind of schedule all of that on on Sundays. That determines when I'm able to go to the gym, all that kind of stuff. That's what I do on Sundays. Okay, so after we've decided, me and William, what our schedules look for, I then focus on my stuff and all the things that I have to do. And normally I will pick a day where I will focus on one platform. Normally, Mondays for me are going to always be admin days. Those are the days where I check my emails. I check to see what's coming up. I check and see if anything needs to be shot today as far as like a, oh, this week as far as collaborations. Um, what's due? Does anything need to be posted? If anything is posted, do we need to submit any insights to the brand? If we've submitted insights to the brand, have we followed up with the brand with an invoice? If we follow up with the brand with an invoice, how far are we from doing net terms? I'm saying all this. Most of this stuff is automatic because I have systems in place. I use... Um, quite a few apps to get me there and I'll talk about that in a later video because I use quite a few apps um, but most of that stuff is automatic but I kind of like to go through that just to check and see what's due what's in the pipeline for living fearless I also do my budgets update my budget on Monday Wednesday and Friday um, so I'm also updating my budget <clears throat> so that's normally Monday admin day don't really plan on doing shooting any content unless I absolutely have to go somewhere. I don't really <laughs> um, plan on leaving the house. It's just a it's, a it's a chill day to prepare myself for the week ahead. That's normally what Mondays are about for me. So that's Mondays. Tuesdays are when we get into the concert creation. Tuesdays, once again, if if this is my typical week, sometimes things get distorted and I have to work around them. But for the most part, Tuesdays are Instagram days. Those are the days where I focus on creating Instagram content for Living Fearless because you guys also know that I also create content for the Living Fearless collection. So Tuesdays, we're just focusing on Living Fearless. We are creating reels. We are trying to create still shots. We are going through our saved folder to see what kind of content we want to create. That is when we create content for the Live and Fearless page, and I try to do enough content to last me for at least 10 days. That way, if there's a week that I can't do enough, I always have, like, I always am going to have content in my drafts folder. So I push for at least 10 different reels. However, if it is what we are looking like today and I'm getting a little late start on my day, right now I'm pushing for seven. And that's okay because last week I did 10. So I still have stuff from last week still sitting in the pipeline. So um, that's normally what Tuesdays are about, just shooting the content. And I'm a stickler where if I don't shoot it and edit it and find a, a I shoot it, I immediately turn around and I edit it. Well, after I've shot, so I normally batch shoot. So I will shoot all 10 looks. Um, most of the time, Monday nights, I have gone ahead and moved the outfits from my master closet upstairs to the closet upstairs, making sure that the jewelry that I want to go with is already up there. The um, um, shoes, everything's up there for me to just go ahead and immediately start creating content. I've already set up my tripod, all the things. All I legit have to do is go in there and start shooting. So I will shoot content. I'll go ahead and I will edit content. I will find a nice trending video on Instagram. I will upload it and it'll just be sitting in my drafts folder. And then I also take 
the cover photo from those reels and create like to know it posts because people are going to want to shop. Um, they're going to want to know where an outfit came from. So I'll go ahead and do that. That way, when it comes time, oh, I've already, already created captions. So the only thing I have to do throughout the week is go in and press share. And I probably could have that set up automatically, but I don't know what content I want to post. <laughs> I want it to be there and then we'll decide what to post. So I go ahead and create all the captions that I'm looking for. If I need to go in and adjust a caption, that's fine. But I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll also go in and create the like to know it post and just will have those sitting in drafts as well. And that way, when it comes time for me to post most of the time, I will post on the like to know it about an hour before I post on Instagram. And some people get mad at that <laughs> because sometimes by the time they get to the post on Instagram, like their size is sold out or something like that because I have already sent it to, I don't know, I think that 14,000 people that are following me on like to know it and they've already seen it. So by the time it gets to Instagram, the sizes are a little limited. And then by the time it finally makes it to you guys on YouTube, it's sold out. Ugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so your best bet would be to follow me over there because I do try to, um, I like to give every platform a little, uh, a little extra. So I normally give YouTube behind the scenes of my life. So most people on Instagram don't really see William that much because... He's not really in my stories, all that kind of stuff. So you guys see more of the family dynamic. Instagram sees more of my styling. I've really been excited with some of the looks that I have came up with. Um, so Instagram sees more of my styling. TikTok sees some styling, but then they also see me being very funny. I really like to go on TikTok to have fun. Some stuff, of course, I am still doing styling because I want them to know that I still... I love outfits, but I like to have fun. I'm, I'm okay. It's okay to breathe a little on TikTok. And then for like to know it, I like to give them access to stuff that has not been posted anywhere else. So it basically gives you a reason to follow all of my platforms. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's what mainly Tuesdays are. Tuesdays are Instagram and like to know it. Wednesdays is YouTube, you guys. So Wednesdays, I'm either editing a video, I'm either getting the video back from the editor, making sure that it looks good. I am going in creating the description box because it takes time to get those links. Creating the description box, I am creating a thumbnail, I am uploading that, and then I'm making sure that it is scheduled to go live Thursday at seven o'clock. If I have already recorded the video for Sunday, I'd like to go ahead and get that done. That way I am done for the rest of the week. Sometimes I'm having to record on Wednesday. So for example, the Closet Essentials um, video that came out not too long ago, I had to record that on a Wednesday to be ready for Sunday. So if I don't have a video ready for Sunday, I'm either recording that on Wednesday or I'm editing it, going ahead and just scheduling both of those videos only because, you know, you think, oh, I've got plenty of time for the rest of the week to um, edit the video, but then life happens. And then I'm looking at myself Sunday, like, is this thing gonna be looking for a video? And I have some people, my ride or dies, where if they don't have video by seven, they might give me until 7.30. If it, if it ain't up by 7.30, they slide in the messages. Uh, Ma'am, you send new videos Sunday and Thursday at seven o'clock. Where the hell is my video? And you have every right to do that. You have every right to do that because who am I to say new video Sundays and Thursdays and it's Sunday at seven and ain't no video? Cause I'd be mad. I'd be, that's like Real Housewives saying, oh, new video at seven. And then I get ready to sit down with my popcorn and Bravo is showing a rerun of the proposal. What the French toast? <laughs> so anyway, I try to go ahead and make sure that everything YouTube related is done on Wednesdays. All right, and now we are on to Thursdays. Thursdays are the Live and Fearless collection days. And those days can get very busy. So Thursdays, one, we are doing an inventory count because we have had the situation where we think we have an item and we don't and we have to end up giving the customer. Not only do we give the customer back their money because, of course, we also give them a discount. So now also have to be prepared for them to use a discount. So we make sure that we do an inventory. I also go through and see what the hat count looks like. Do I need to go ahead and order more hats from the vendor? we are shooting content so I shoot a lot of reels because reels are where they at now <laughs> shoot a lot of content for the business once again because sometimes 
most of the time I don't physically have to be in the content or if I am it's like from here down so yes I still have on makeup but I don't really have to be in the content at all times so I try to shoot for honestly I try to shoot the same thing I try to shoot for 10 for 10 pieces of content whether that is straight photos whether that is reels whether that is combination of both I try to shoot for 10 pieces of content for the live and fearless collection because we do try to post five days a week Monday through Friday um so we're shooting content like I said we're shooting content we're checking inventory don't do any uh packing because we do that on Tuesdays so that's we do it on Mondays because it ships on Tuesdays so that's another one of those admin things uh, that's the reason why I don't put on makeup because Mondays we're packing orders <laughs> um so that's what we're doing on Thursday Thursdays is really just live and fearless collection live and fearless collection live and fearless collection everything related to that if i need to um order some stuff for the business so if i um am looking for new pieces need to order new beads so i can start making new bracelets all of that happens on thursdays i try to get up and shoot a lot of the content for the live and fearless collection really early because there is the way that the light hits the office between like eight to nine o'clock. It's glorious. It, it gives you the little shading. It just, it's a vibe. So I like to go ahead and shoot all content in that one hour, which means that I need to be on my P's and Q's about what content I'm exactly going to shoot. So I have a lot of stuff saved in my phone. I have a lot of stuff saved on Pinterest of different looks that I'm looking for because when I'm in there, I need to be... I need to be on it. I need to be shooting like 10 looks in about an hour and 15 minutes. So that's all that happens on Thursdays. Fridays is a catch-all. I don't really have anything planned. It's a catch-all. So if I didn't, let's just say I plan to shoot seven looks today and I only got to four. We're going to shoot the other three Friday. If I was supposed to shoot 10 pieces for Love and Fitness Collection, we only got... 10 looks or we only got seven looks done i'm doing the other three on friday so definitely is a catch all day on friday one thing that i've done lately and i don't know if i should tell you because i don't want to get in trouble by your friends and your family is i you know you can put your phone on do not disturb and maybe I, it's just me being late but you can put your phone on do not disturb but you can allow certain apps to come through and that's what i've been doing for the last three weeks I put my phone on do not disturb and the only apps I allow are my email and my text messages don't call me don't FaceTime me don't I don't need a shopping pop-up that the sale is happening now no I just need to be focused and in the zone now does my mom like it probably not do my sisters like it? One sister is like, okay, fine. Because she only texts me anyway. But the old sister was like, why aren't you answering your phone? I was like, oh, would you know? I didn't know you called. <laughs> my goodness. Did you want something? Oh, so it was a textable something. Got it. Okay. So anyway, my phone or do not disturb has been made me like so productive. It's absolutely crazy. So Fridays are catch all days. Um, catch up on stuff I normally or didn't get a chance to do during the week and then saturday and sunday we're off we're off like if i have to shoot content on saturday and sunday it's a problem i don't i i would i don't like to do it if i have to do it i will but i don't like to do it i like for saturdays and sundays to just be family day now i know someone's gonna ask alicia how do you do it all and the truth of the matter is i i do what i'm good at and what i'm not good at i outsource cleaning i do not deep clean our house i i just don't have the bandwidth so we outsource that my laundry i don't do my laundry i outsource it william still does his because i don't know why he's just so picky about other people doing his laundry is that like a guy thing anyway so i don't do my laundry also because me and william are both equally busy when it comes to some things I don't want to have to make a decision like there are some things where you may not think oh it's just something small but it adds up over time something as simple as picking out what to wear to the gym can be very complicated and confusing to some people it ain't for me I have the same pants I got the same shirt I got the same sports bras and they're all black it all works when I go to the gym I immediately know what to put on what we're having for dinner Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday 
our meals are set in stone. There might be a variation of something. Sunday, we're either going to have pizza or pasta. Monday is going to be some form of fish. Tuesday is going to be some form of tacos. Wednesday is going to be some form of wings. So we only have to worry about Thursday because Friday we're probably ordering out because we're allowing ourselves one DoorDash a week. And then Saturday we're either going out as like a date night or something along those lines. So I don't really have to worry about what's going on for dinner because it's already set in stone. Most of the time for lunch, I'm prepping it on Sunday and just eating it. Um, so I really try to make as many... I try to make as few decisions throughout the week <laughs> as possible because what some people think is not that big of a deal, it definitely adds up over time. I outsource what I can what I can't do well, I outsource. I have an editor. Sometimes I think, oh, I can do what I'm gonna be able to edit it. And then sometimes I'm like, yeah, my my week this week is gonna be so busy, I don't have time. So I'll send her the raw footage. Kind of give her an idea i think right now we kind of have a we kind of have an ebb and flow and it works really good because i think you guys can't tell the videos that i edit and the videos that she edit so much so that i was like did i edit this this is good i was like no i guess you did so i like how we can both edit and you can't tell which person edited which video i love that so is it a lot it sounds like a lot but when you break it down to like hour by hour detail, for example, on two is when I say it's dedicated to Instagram, I can legit do seven outfits in an hour. So I, I could do from two to three and then I'm done from two to three. I can do from two to three. I can shoot the content from three to four. I am editing it. I am creating a cover photo. I'm going out getting the links. I've already got the links on my reward style. Most of the time when I'm shopping somewhere and I know I'm going to shoot the look, I'll go ahead and create the link in reward in like to know. It's all I have to do is attach the link to the post but where it says a lot I can do the Instagram stuff on Tuesdays in like two and a half hours so it's not like I'm sitting recording all day why because I've done the preparation I have the outfits picked out I have where I want to shoot in the room everything is picked out so all I legit have to do is I still have to put that red on shoot I did say I was gonna wear that red didn't I let's take this back off I do want to put on chestnut though because I kind of I want it darker. I'm still in my feelings that it's not the staying power that the people on TikTok was like, oh, it doesn't come off. Look at my hand. It clearly didn't touch your lips. So it seems like a lot, but it doesn't feel, and I just put on Night Moth. I'm not taking that off. Stry chestnut. It seems like a lot, but it's not... I think for me, I've been just so used to juggling multiple things. And this, I was actually talking to my therapist about it because I was like, people now are asking me how I get it done. Like, why? how are you able to get all this done? How are you doing this and how are you doing that? And I'm like, to me, it's not, it's just doing life. I don't feel, there are sometimes maybe when I feel overwhelmed, but for the most part, it's just, it's second nature to me. And she said, we were having a conversation. She said, most people that juggled, that are comfortable and are used to juggling stuff now have been doing it for the majority of their life. And she started asking me questions. Did I play a sport? Yes. When did I start playing a sport? Well, seventh grade. Was I in other organizations? Absolutely. I was in 4-H. Well, when did you start that? Well, seventh grade. What did your grades look like in, in high school? Oh, I was, an, I was an A student. I didn't get my first B till I got to college and I was depressed. So, oh, so you used to studying? Yes. So you realize when you were in the seventh grade, You've gotten used to, your body has naturally gotten used to getting up, getting yourself ready, going to school, paying attention in school, doing sports after, being involved in after school sports, coming home, studying, and then still doing all the chores that your mom made me do. Wash dishes, keep my room clean, do laundry. I have gotten, I have been juggling my entire life. So now that I have all this other stuff, it just seems like, it's what I'm supposed to do. And I, she, I didn't realize it until she pointed that out. And I'm like, I've been in the circus since seventh grade. <laughs> I've been juggling since seventh grade. I'm going to put this on heavy because I want this to be dark. Mm. 
I mean, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I also feel like I might be doing too much. No. It's a no. We're going to take this off. Normally, I wear red when I don't have this green. Because when it comes to what's on my face, I like for there just to be the center of attention for one. And most of the time when I'm wearing the green, people naturally gravitate to the green. I hope that did not just mess up my entire makeup look. What the French toast? I'm still going to have it written. We're going to go back to chestnut. Yes, yeah, so and my body is just now. And you guys let me know. That'll have to do. You can still see some of the red, but it's fine. So, yeah, you guys let me know. And even, here's the thing. It's, so, as we were talking about all that, and I was like, well, when I turned 16, I got a job. <laughs> so, she was like, wait, wait, wait. She was like, so, you still went to school. You still made all A's. You still were in sports. And I was in three sports at the time. They weren't all at the same time, but I played three different sports in high school and I got a job. I've been juggling my whole life. That's why now, even though like from the outside looking in, it looks like, oh my God, Alicia, you're doing a lot. To me, it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like a lot because I have been used to juggling my entire life. In college, did the same thing. Went to school. I worked. There was a time, y'all, there was a time, there was a time when I had three different jobs in college. I was doing the normal job to be able to pay for things. Like I said, my family just didn't have the money to give to me. So I knew when I went to college, I was on my own financially. So I had a job to be able to pay for rent and bills. I had an internship because I was trying to get a job after college. And then because I had gotten something with the scholarship grants, I had to do work study. Yeah, that was, that was my life in college. She was stressed in college, okay? Stressed is the word that you were looking for that she was, very much so. But I've just, I say all that to say, I've gotten so used to doing multiple jobs, multiple things at one time. It doesn't feel stressful to me now, even though people are like, oh, you have had, when you have a baby, something's got to go. Something's got to go. You can't do all that TikTok or not TikTok. I wasn't even on TikTok at the same at the time. When you have a baby, Instagram or something's going to have to go. What happened? Had a baby and decided to get on TikTok. <laughs> and here we are thriving and, 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 you know, all the things. So, yeah, that is my Full schedule. Did I also tell you guys I'm also back on my nine to five? If you've seen my recent vlogs, you've known that I'm back. I am now back full time, which to be honest, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> Still, I mean, part time felt like full time, but it's great because between the flexible schedule and the goddess that is my manager and the unlimited time off, it's 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 working. It's working. I have. I feel like I am on a very I feel like I'm on autopilot. Things are working the way they should be working. Things are falling the way they should be falling. And I literally can attest that to the fact that I have been dedicating my mornings instead of whenever I have time to devotion. So I've just been dedicating the first 10 to 15 minutes of my morning to just devotion and digging deeper into the Bible and just talking like most of the time. It's weird because I'll be in the kitchen just talking to a guy like he, he's sitting across from me on the countertop. Like we just be chit-chatting and I'll be talking and it used to freak away a man. Now he just comes in and he just, you know, good morning. Good morning. I just be talking to God. I'm like, yeah, God, because yada, 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 yada. Oh, and by the way, I just be talking to him like a regular person. 
and it's worked for me. So we are nice and, oh, I love my makeup look. I'll make sure to give you guys the details. I'll also make sure that I put them in the order that I use them for those people that are wondering. So if you see like concealer and then powder and then foundation and then the same link for the powder, that's because I put it on in two different times on my makeup look. So I'll make sure to do that for you guys. But we are all set and ready to shoot some content all right guys if you have made it this far in the video you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me like i said i'm going to link everything that i possibly can in the description box if you see something or if you want something and you don't see it please feel free to leave a comment and i'll go in and edit the description box while you're here go ahead and like comment and subscribe and do all the things that the other youtubers tell you to do and i'm going to catch you guys thursday seven o'clock Later.